the school district's $1.6 million levy will expire this summer. The district is giving taxpayers the opportunity to voice their concerns, opinions, even offer up some ideas. And at a public meeting last night, the room was nearly full. Worries ranged from continued mismanagement of money to higher property taxes. I own other property in Twin Falls County, two homes, one comparable to the, the home I own here. The taxes on my Twin Falls home are half of what they are here. Half. I'm not going to make a lot of friends here tonight because this is what I want to share with you guys. I don't want a tourniquet. I don't want a tourniquet. I don't want a band-aid for this issue. If you're going to go and ask us um, for a bond, I want you to ask us for enough money. I don't want you guys to ask us for just, just enough. No decision on a levy made. It was simply a chance for the superintendent to go over the financial plan and hear from folks. The school district hopes to increase the levy with the intentions of bringing back at least 10 teaching positions and improving other areas in the school district. Taxpayers will be able to vote, could be able to vote, as soon as March 11th.